Hey, this is Lindsay for the Best Buy blog, and today I'm giving you an honest review of the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Stroller. So I'm just going to show you basically how to set it up, um, kind of some cool features about the stroller, and uh, how to get the most out of your stroller. So this is what the stroller looks like when it's all set up. Um, it was super easy to set up. Basically, I just had to kind of screw on the wheels and click them into place. Um, and then attach this canopy, um, which again, there's, if you look on the side here, you can see there's just a little area that the canopy clicks on and off. Um, so setup was really easy, which was nice. Um, and basically, uh, if you want to take out this part of the seat and add any of the accessories that Mountain Buggy offers, such as, um, the carry cot, which is basically like a portable bassinet for your baby. Um, it's great for using if the baby's a newborn. Um, you can attach that by simply um, popping off this part of the seat. So there is kind of two little um, pegs or four little pegs on the back here. So you just kind of pop the pegs off. And then down here there are um, some attachments that you just detach. And then there's a strap here on the back that you just have to undo. And that part pops out really easily. Um, and then you can attach that carry cot or you can also attach the um, any compatible car seat. And if you look on um, Mountain Buggy's website, there's actually a list of compatible car seats for this particular stroller. Um, so in terms of collapsing the stroller, it was also a lot easier than I expected. However, they do claim that the stroller is um, like a one hand collapse. I disagree with that. Uh, it definitely took me two hands to do it. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So basically there's a bar down here and there's a little button. So you just have to push in the button and uh, twist. So, sorry, it takes a bit of, there we go. Um, so there you go, that's how it's done. So pretty easy. Collapsing is easier, but I found that, um, like obviously collapsing you can do with one hand, but I found that for um, kind of re-expanding uh, it, you do need two hands because you kind of have to pull a little bit with one hand, and then it just clicks, and up it goes. So this stroller, um, has a lot of really nice little extras that you can see um, and maybe some that you can't. So one thing that I really like about it is the material. Um, obviously you can't get a sense of material just by me showing you on a video, but it's really, the seat is really nice and thick and padded and it's really soft as well. Um, another nice little extra is this water bottle holder here. Um, so if you were using it as a jogging stroller, that's a really nice feature because you can just kind of grab it and take a quick swig out of your water bottle. Um, but if you were using it to just um, walk along a sidewalk or whatever, you could also use this for a travel mug for your tea or coffee, which is great. Um, down here, you can see there's a really large storage area. Um, so we've got... Um, like a really deep storage area, plus the, there's these two little um, resealable pockets or zippers um, of different sizes so that you can put any like loose stuff in there that you want um, and know that it's secure. So in terms of performance, I felt like this stroller did a really good job going up over curbs. Um, it was really smooth and it's also pretty smooth over grass. Um, it was, to tell you the truth, a little bit bumpier than I expected. Um, I don't really know what I was expecting because I've never tried an all-terrain stroller before. 
Um, but overall, I could definitely see this um, being a great stroller for either jogging if you're a runner, or this is an awesome stroller um, to go through the snow because of the really big tires. And another thing I really liked about the performance of this stroller is how easy it is to steer. Um, some strollers with three wheels that I've tried, um, they're really loose, but almost too loose. Like, um, if you just take one hand off of it, it kind of does its own thing and veers off path. Whereas this one doesn't, it's really stable. And another nice thing is that the handlebars adjust 180 degrees so you can find whatever position is most comfortable for you so it goes all the way up like this down to a middle position or even down further like this um, so that's just a little nice extra perk basically I feel like this is a stroller that um, it performs really well for how small and relatively light it is for an all-terrain stroller. And then it's also got a lot of nice little extras that make it um, worth the investment. So you can see here, um, if I turn the stroller around, there's even um, Mountain Buggy gives you different like colors that you can choose from. And even there's a couple different patterns. So there's a houndstooth pattern, there's stripes, they call that nautical theme. There's the gray, which is this one. You can even go brighter colors like blue, there's black, red, yellow. Like there's there's just so many options. Beige, pink. Um, so that's a really nice way to be able to customize your stroller. Um, so overall, I really, really liked this stroller. In fact, it kind of put my stroller to shame and now I really want one of these. Um, this is definitely a really high-end stroller. I'll turn it back around so you can see it. Check out my full review of the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Stroller on the Best Buy blog.